Ron Savage, B. Stinger. Okay, B. Stinger, you want closure. So in your mind, in your half of a mind, because we know Ron Savage suffers from mental illness. He decides, he decides to go cozy up, to be on the offense for Africa Bambada. He decides to not only make peace with the man that broke his back in pieces, okay, that ran through his thighs. He's now on the offense defending this man. Knowing what he has done to him and other young men, even boys. Now, it gets worse, as you see in the video. Because a lot of people including Cuban Link, the rapper Cuban Link, questioned those motives and said, hold up now, Ron. We've been riding with you. So I was too. But how dare you? What the hell? You cozying up with the same situation that ain't right, that ain't culture. Africa Bambata Bambati did great for hip hop. He did what he did for the culture, but his behavior is foul and it needs to be addressed. And no matter how much you're trying to convince us, Ron, okay, Africa Bambata, we not accepting it, Ronald. And you looking like a clown. And you looking senile. Mad out your mind. Now, it's one thing to do what you did. But please get off the social media and stop the damn drinking. It ain't for you. You can't handle it. And I, ain't that beer? You getting trippy off beer? Now, as far as Cuban Link addressing you. He has his opinion. It's a shocker to see you who've been crying, boo-hooing, and telling the truth. We believe you. That this man violated you as a child, son. And it bothered you and it ethered your chest. Yes, it did. For years, you couldn't sleep at night. So in your mind, you figure, oh, let me cozy up to him. Let me, let me, let me be his friend. Well, if that's what you decide to do, you're a grown man. You're not stupid. You make your moves. But don't try to convince us. Don't try to do that because it's not a good look. Now, Cuban could make his comments. Cuban could make his opinion. But you know where you went wrong, Ronald? You don't think Cuban Link suffered? He has been blackballed. I know that personally. Ronald... I was in the industry as a young boy. My boss was one of the most powerful men in the industry. And I'm not talking when I worked for Diddy, bigger than Diddy, Clive Davis. And he was good to me. And I didn't know Clive was color flag. I ain't know. We didn't know. Until he confessed before he passed. He came out and confessed it live on that stage. But at the end of the day, Ronald, I already know Cuban been blackballed. Cuban got kids. Cuban tried to go on his own. And even when he tried to go on his own, Fat Joe made it hard and difficult for the man. Even when he was like, all right, you got me in the face. You lined me up. But I'm still willing to go my way and make my own way as a man. I remember Cuban had his own independent deal. See, Ronald, you, you, you're not looking at that. You in your feelings the wrong way. Cuban Link suffered enough. Cuban Link was a loyal soldier. Big pun turning in his grave. 
because Fat Joe know what he was doing. Fat Joe want to be the only Latin rapper. And he had to accept Pun because Pun made Terror Squad. Pun made him. He was a mediocre rapper with mediocre songs. And here comes Big Pun taking the whole Latin thing to a whole nother level. Once Pun passed, who was up next? But a Cuban link. Lyrically great, marketable. If Fat Joe was a fair one, him, Terror Squad, Cuban Link would be on the Latin route much more of hip hop. But he wanted to be the only one. He ain't want no other Latino to get the fame. Because where's the other Latino besides Fat Joe? Why he ain't put nobody on? What, what, why? What's, what's, Ron? This is bigger than you. Stop bigging up Fat Joe. Now, Fat Joe contribute to the culture. Fat Joe have a lot of respect for the West Indian culture as well. I seen Fat Joe when Pun died and he was scratching his head. What am I going to do? His little fat butt. What am I going to do? Oh, I shouldn't say that. You know, we talking about these things. And he put it together. I seen him grind. I seen Fat Joe came to Moody's records. Fat Joe, if you watching this, you came to Moody's records and you was pushing your album by yourself. He was dolo. So he did grind and he he knows how to, he got an ears for hits. But Fat Joe, as much as you're great in those areas, and we appreciate you for putting pun on, but there are some things, man, that are very questionable. Just like Ron Savage making those moves, you have made some moves too. So I guess two birds with the same feather flock together. That's why he's bigging up Fat Joe. He made some crazy moves and Joe made some silly, crazy moves. That wasn't right, wasn't culture. So for those that don't know, him and Hassan Campbell are the most popular victims. Now, Hassan the madman Hassan, the, 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 the killer, the big killer, is a fraud. We know that now. It is exposed. First of all, Hassan was touched by his uncle and his cousin. And he ain't knocked them off. Remember, he's the big killer. Why you ain't kill them? They were the ones who really touched him when he was a child. He was already broken in. By the time he met Bam, he was already that way. Him and Bam had a relationship. He took Ronald's, this, this is what, this is what uh, he did. Ron came out first, then Hassan followed. And before he went on Sarnetta TV, he saw that Ron, Ron Savage is blowing up. So guess what he did? Guess what he did? He attacks Ron Savage. He bullies him, punked him, threatened him. And Ron Savage got scared. B Stinger got scared and fell back. Big mistake, because now you put Hassan in the spotlight. Then he went and did the Sarnetta interview, and that took him to the next level, because that's Africa Bambada. In that, in 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 the conscious community, quote unquote conscious community, that's a big deal. Africa Bambada touched him. And because Ronald Savage, B Stinger, was on Fox 5 already and other news channels, it, it just coincides and made Hassan this big thing. And he took off. He got all these followers because they were sympathetic. He was a victim. Then the fame got to his head. And it ain't about victimhood no more. It's about him crying, crashing out. One minute he loves his mother. Next minute he calling her a B curse his mother out. One minute he's the village leader for Bronx River. Next thing you know, he's over there cursing out everybody, bullying everybody. He going to do, throw the woman down the stairs and all type of stuff. He going to crash out over there. So this character, I wanted to know who is this guy? Who planted him? Is this real? So I went to Bronx River. Right after the time he claimed he got shot. I went to Bronx River. And what I found out is Hassan Campbell is the devil in disguise. He's the wolf in sheep clothing. Okay? 
Hassan Campbell don't care about Bronx River. Hassan Campbell bullies everyone in Bronx River. I spoke to the mothers. They said, we don't let our children play with him. We don't let our children hang with him. We tell our children to stay away from him because he touches children. They know about Bambada and his henchman named Hassan Campbell. Oh, this is deep. Hassan Campbell is the boogeyman of Bronx River. He's the boogeyman. He's the toucher, the child toucher. On the low, people scared to talk about it. They didn't want to come on the camera. But I went over there. They said, yo, he's a bully. He comes over here. They said, you think that's the first time he crashed out? He comes over here all the time and do that to us. That's why it makes sense now. Remember when he pulled the thing out on the young boy over there that was caught on video? Remember when Hassan Campbell went to Bronx River and the young boys came at him and he pulled out the, the blicky? That is why they got tired of the bully. And the old folks or the elders are scared, but the young boys, they ready to step. They ready to step. And it's a shame how social media will fool you. No, this man predicates on his community, bullies them. We seen it on camera. We seen him go over Bronx River in front of that building, and he made threats to everybody in the building. And he, he, he said what he said, and he did what he did. And let me tell you something about him getting shot. That's Fugazi, Fugaga. Because I'm going to tell you this. I already broke down the whole thing and already asked questions when I was over there. The only problem is what I was getting from the, the few people I encountered, they said, look, man, we, we don't got time for no Hassan Campbell. Nah, we ain't with all that. We, we got to work. We got to pay our bills. That's what we worrying about. But for your information, I ain't getting on camera, but for your information, we don't mess with that dude. Him and Bambada, we don't mess with them. When Bambada come to come over there, only certain people click with him. The whole hood ain't with it. The whole hood ain't with it. No, I know Bambada. I know Bambati. I know him. I was with him for a whole week. Okay? Very quiet. Look boogeyman-ish. Quiet and stay still and no facial expressions, nothing. Boogeyman-ish. And it gets worse. It gets worse. Let me tell you something about Hassan Campbell. And why they could only be an Hassan Campbell in the black community. Because black people are hypocrites. And black people pick and choose. I'm going to prove it to you. When I talk about Alpo. When I tell the story about the 80s, Poe, and, and, and all these other guys that was running the street. Y'all know what's going on over here. People leave comments and say, oh, you, 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 you promoting a killer. You, 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 you highlighting murders and killings and, and, and ooh, 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 and ah, 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 right? This is what black folks is leaving in my comments, right? But they the same black folks that will go scoot over. When Hassan go live, they'll go over there and scoot over there and hit the like button, right? Just to hear him rant about who he going to kill and, and, and what he going to do and all this nonsense. But how can you bang on Poe and everybody else on my page in the comment section? But Hassan Campbell is a murderer. Oh, did, 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 did you forget that? Hassan Campbell was a hitman for Bambada. Hassan Campbell is a murderer. Hassan Campbell said he killed two of Bam lovers because he was jealous. Huh? There was even a time when Bambada got a hold of a Puerto Rican kid. He was 18 or 19, Hassan Campbell said. And that's confirmed by other people that this Puerto Rican kid, Bambada grabbed him and try to force his thing in him, his cocky in him. And the kid slid away with his pants falling down. 
and end up popping out the knife and stab Bambati. Stabbed him. And the kid ran off for safety. Good move, kid. Well, you're a grown man now. Good move. The Lord, the Most High, Allah, Krishna, Buddha, whatever God you pray to, son, he saved you that day. He saved your booty that day. Okay? It would have been bust open like a pinata if you ain't stabbed that man and run. Well, guess what happened? In the passion, in the heat, how dare he do that and escape? Bambada was the driver. Hassan Campbell was the hitman. Bambada wanted the kid to die. And Hassan Campbell said, okay, Bam, I love you. I'll do it. But there were two other times where Bam was the driver and Hassan was the hitman. Huh? Two the hard way, the wrong way. Them two. And y'all not complaining about that? Y'all so quick to talk about every other killer. Huh? But at least Poe killed people that was in his world that was doing dirt. Except for the move on Rich Porter. We don't we 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 always gonna say that wasn't a good move. But that's up for debate when it comes to him and why he did it. Now Hassan Campbell was taking out innocent young boys because they didn't want to sleep with his or do the threesome. He said, yeah, remember, remember, I could send him to jail. Yeah, he was the driver. He was the driver and I did the hit. He was the driver. <laughs> and y'all over there celebrating this creature. Y'all over there hyping up this man. Black people, you are sick in the head. Sick in the head. One minute, Poe is Rose. Poe is this. And, 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 and Rich Porter and AZ and LA and, 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 and all the street legends are wrong because the murder game was put down. And, oh, that's wrong. But y'all over there with a man who said he touched children because he got touched. With a man who has killed young boys and none of them was white. He killed boys from our community, black and brown boys he killed. And he's proud of killing his own. How many mothers got to see y'all post this creature, bigging them up, got to see this creature go live on their feed when they're going on YouTube. How many mothers that they, he killed their sons got to see this fool, this sucker? And y'all over there supporting him, you sick in your head. Anybody that support Hassan Campbell, you are sick and mental. You have mental problems. This is a murderer who killed black men, black boys. He ain't killed not one white person. He ain't killed not one KKK, but he keep talking about the white man, the white man, the white man, the white man. This is the same sucker that said Vlad TV is a culture vulture and F Vlad and Vlad this and I'm the leader. I'm the tribal leader. And then when Vlad said, hey, you want to sit on my couch? He runs right over there. Y'all are sick and out of your mind. But shout outs for the click. Y'all can, can still click over here. But I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy. This ain't no democracy. Hmm? It can't be because y'all too hypocritical. And y'all not truthful and honest. So how are we going to have that over here? No. So I'm going to dictate and y'all listen. Because all I'm dictating is facts. Straight facts. Ron Savage. I'm going to end it with him. We're going to bring it back to him. Ronald Savage. You are a disappointment. Because there are children. There are teens. That saw your story, and when you came out, that encouraged others to come out, son. You made them feel powerful. But when you, sir, is now hanging and rapping and touching and, and chilling, and now you defending Bambada, the guy who did that to you, you are confusing the youth. 
You are basically telling them, whoever touch you, go back and grab them. Go back and kiss them. Give them a nice hug. Be his friend. That's what you are saying, sir. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. So we condemn what you, the move you have made, children who are watching, young teens, teenagers, young men, young adults who are watching right now, young women who are watching right now. Do not be Ron Savage and do not be Hassan Campbell. Be yourself. And if you need to come out and tell your story, tell your story, bravely tell your story. Okay. You create your own YouTube podcast, whatever way you got a vent to tell your story. But don't you ever, 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 ever go and make peace and cuddle up and cozy up with the person who did that to you. No, let them ask for your forgiveness. Let them beg. Let them come or announce that they are sorry. Let them confess what they have done to you. Confess. Because they need to be washed off like Diddy. Washed off and repent. But you don't be a victim twice over. Because that's what Ron Savage you are. Stop, stop talking about Cuban Link. That is foul. You know that when Cuban got cut in the face. That was dead wrong. That was a betrayal move. And you're going to throw salt in the wound. You're going to spit in that man's face. Use a sucker. Hey. Kids, do the right thing. You heard what Sean in HD said. Don't follow these suckers. And for all of you, once again, that's following that slime ball, Hassan Campbell, okay, who's a killer of our boys. He ain't kill no white boy. He kill our boys. Over what? Sexual differences? Oh, because Bam told him he might tell on me. Or Bam wanted the Puerto Rican guy. Puerto Rican guy stabbed Bam, and now you, want, you went after the kill, homie? You even track him down to the hospital? Huh? You went that far? We cannot support these people no more. Support the real. We here. Sean and HD TV. Videofamer.com. Coming. Stay tuned. Stay locked in. This is getting serious. It's getting ugly.